Hey guys, just uh, stopped the downpour and uh, before it starts up again, I'm gonna make another quick video. My frequently asked questions. Thank you so much for all the great questions. I still intending to do a live stream. It's just the last few places have been really rough. I've been up in the mountains with uh, either no cell service or no Wi-Fi or it's very little. And I wanna make sure I can do a full live stream. Uh, oh, maybe today's the day. Anyway, so thanks again for your questions. One of the questions that I keep getting, maybe this is a good insight for people who are interested or plan to do the Camino. What does it cost to walk the Camino de Santiago? Well, I can tell you from my experience from Saint Jean, France, where I began the France route. Um, here's how I break down the daily expenses. It's about 30 euro a day. So if you're looking at the US dollar, that is one US dollar. Basically it's 81 cents to one euro. So we're kind of screwed in that exchange. And about 30 euro a day. Your accommodations, your albergues, private or public, are gonna range between as cheap as five euro a night to I paid as much as 33 euro for a private albergue, but that was, that was special because that was in the Pyrenees and that included breakfast and dinner. So let's say an average 10 euro a night if you're doing it the albergue pilgrim way. Now, your average meal is going to be about, if you do a pilgrim menu, which they do, about 10 euro. And that comes with like a first course, second course, dessert, bread, and water, or wine. Most of the time they're not very good. <laughs> I have had two back to back that were excellent. Excellent. It was rabbit, a lot of food. Conejo, muy sabroso y rico. Me gusta todos. Um, most of the time the meals are not that good, but they're cheap for pilgrims. And then you've got your lunch and your breakfast and snacks. Maybe you might want to have a beer or a special wine that's, you know, local wine. So you got, you're looking at minimum 30 euro a day, and then you have to consider additional expenses, which do come up. Maybe you need to replace something, buy something. Um, for me, unexpected costs in medical, uh, now over a hundred euro. I was not expecting that. So different things to consider as you're going throughout the Camino. On average, I would say minimum 30 euro a day. How long does it take to walk the Camino de Santiago? Once again, I'll use my example because that's all I know from experience. The Francis route, now there are 33 official stages and I've heard people do it as fast as three weeks, which is flying and uh, that's walking and people as long as six plus weeks. On average, I would say between 33 to 40 days, somewhere in that range. And because maybe somebody wants to go really fast, they've got a deadline, they've got a plane ticket, and I've seen that happen for a lot of pilgrims, or somebody has a physical condition which requires them to go more slowly, or they want to explore different cities and towns. So it really is, like Camino is a metaphor for life, how you want to do it. You can go slow, you can go fast. That's gonna be up to how you want to experience it as well as how your body's feeling. Funny enough, I've also been asked, is there any pilgrim romance on the Camino? It's not that different from everyday life. It's just, uh, it's shaped in a different way because of, of you know, you're staying in albergues, you got everything on your back. Uh, you know, I, I've seen some, I've heard of stories from people I've seen um, some romances. People fall in love, people break up. I, I see some drama on the Camino too. I've seen uh, messages left on little pylons or written other places on rocks. Usually encouragement, and I love you, keep going, but then full on so and so, you're a liar or you're a cheater. I've seen spray painted big across um, sidewalks. They know that person's gonna see it, and so is everybody else. So and so is a cheater and a liar, and 
you broke my heart. You said you were going to walk with me and then you disappeared. <laughs> so that kind of thing happens. Uh, another girl, pilgrim that I met, she had a pilgrim hookup and then the guy became like a stage five clinger. And that can happen too. So you're going to have to either, if you don't want to see that person every day, um, go a lot faster or a lot slower. And <laughs> yeah, I have not experienced any of this. I have witnessed it, which is very interesting. Can I take my family, my kids, on the Camino? I get this question quite often as well. Uh, yes and no. I've seen teenagers do the entire Camino with their family or, or parents. A lot of parents with one son or daughter out here. If they're little ones, you're going to want to think about um, having the bag sent ahead or doing just a portion, staying in hostels, private rooms. Hola, buen camino. Buen camino. Um, for the little ones because it's a pretty long journey for little kids to do this and obviously staying outside of albergues. I have seen kids stay in some of my albergues and they have thrown tantrums and are loud and believe me, pilgrims do not appreciate that at all. Um, I, I can see this being a really awesome experience for families to do. It's just they need to know how to plan it right. One more question I'll answer in this video that I get a lot is, what are the most common nationalities I see walking the Camino? In my experience, which is the only thing that I can report from, uh, uh, Italians, I see the most amount from people from Italy here. And I made a lot of really good Italian friends along the way. Uh, I see a lot of Spanish. And then I would probably say German after that, Germany. Um, quite a few from France, quite a few from the Netherlands, um, you know, and then kind of spread out after that through Europe. Uh, Americans, there are quite a few Americans out here. Some Australians, some Brazilians, Peruvians, so South America. And, but I would say, oh, and then also I see um, Korea from Korea and Japan. So those are the nationalities that I I see mostly here on the Camino. And it's interesting to see how um, a lot of these different nations, how they travel, some will almost always be traveling in a group and some will be traveling solo or others will be, no matter what, in a pair. And I've, I've had a lot of fascination and observing <laughs> social circumstances uh, amongst people from different nations on the Camino. Fingers crossed on live stream today. Thanks for your questions and buen camino.